In the previous video we talked about setting up the print areas so that you could output to PDF documents. What we found is that if your pages are going to go beyond the limit of the, uh, the design here, we have to make one minor change here. So just like before, we're going to pick our print areas. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to go just below it to here. And I'm going to grab the print area. So let's say I want to grab everything down to here. And I go up and I click here. And then I go to the page layout, print area, and I set the print area. Now the trick here is to come over here and go to the setup here. And uh, you want to make it fit one by one on the landscape. But there's a little trick here. If you're going to end up with your pages going down beyond the, uh, the highlighted area, just remove this right here. In other words, make it blank, right? rather than putting one in there. Now, that's a little trick that's not very well documented. But what that will do, it will actually look at the size of each of the subsequent pages in your uh, work instructions. And if they go, go down beyond the bottom of the page, it will automatically a lot the correct number of um, pages uh, to the uh, printout required here. So again, it's a very simple change. Highlight the print area as before. Just come down here and be sure and blank out the so many tall here. So by default, it's going to probably say one in here. Just take it out, just backspace and take it out and then save it and then do save the file there. And that will accommodate your, your printing needs in.